Today for my bag of Melodyne tricks, what to do when the grid slips out of alignment. When importing audio files, Melodyne usually places the first note at the start of bar one, even if the file isn't cut exactly to the bar. Sometimes a song begins on the upbeat, or even, as is often the case in reggae, on the second beat of the bar. Melodyne identifies such pickup bars correctly, and the alignment of the bar ruler and inflection of the metronome reflect this. Melodyne is able to do this because it does not look at the first note or chord in isolation, but also at what follows. So it sees the guitar and the bass playing on the downbeat over the next bars. And since Melodyne is looking at this bigger picture, it concludes correctly that the first chord was played on the second beat. But now I'm presenting Melodyne with a real challenge. I've scheduled the entries of the various instruments in a somewhat haphazard fashion. To add to the confusion, the first note is preceded by noise emanating from the Leslie and guitar amp. So useful clues as to the tempo are in short supply and Melodyne goes astray, placing the grid in the off beat. Let's compare the time ruler to the music. The downbeat is supposed to be here, and here, here, and so on. I position the playback line on or near what I regard as the first beat of a bar. Then I click on the ruler, it doesn't matter where, and drag it into alignment. What you need to bear in mind is that the ruler always moves in increments of one beat, so it depends on the key signature, or to be precise, on its denominator, in this case, a quarter note. Now I'll construct a further problem. Back once again to the quarter note offbeat. Now I make the tempo count half time. This makes the offbeat an eighth note. The first beat ought therefore to be here. But the smallest increment by which I can move the ruler is a quarter note. So it always ends up too far either to the right or to the left. We need then to replace the denominator in the key signature temporarily with a smaller value. With this finer resolution, the ruler now snaps to the correct position. After that, you can change the key signature back. The ruler will remain correctly aligned.